Hi! Hello, everyone! And hello. welcome back... Hello, hello. Welcome back to Grimscape. It is me and the Mango in the house. How you doing, Mango? I'm good. Yeah? You good? Yeah. It's, uh... It's, 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 I mean, it's, it's my fault, particularly, but it's been, it's been some time since we've been in here. Ish. We had, uh, I did a streaming, or a stream, where we were in Grimsgate a little bit, um, but besides that, um, after our sort of park tour, uh, we haven't really been in here, right? I haven't done shit. Um, we haven't done a lot, um, but we've, we've both been busy um, in life, and, uh, you know, some things have more priority, and and Kevin is uh, is also working very hard. Uh, so uh, and also again the time differences and all that stuff. So we uh, we try our best here, and uh, it's going great, I would say. Especially um, what uh, I get ad added to um, to our little project today, Kevin. Yeah, no, I like the style of those buildings. I want more of them. Yeah, I am definitely thinking we are. Gonna add more of them after the the passage here, the tunnel. Um, but um, but yeah, there's some a few things have happened in here. Uh, we added like a little um, well not a little, but we added something to uh, the beer garden. Uh, it's a house we built, as I said, on stream. Uh, I did put in a little cinematic shot of it at the end of the video, so you guys can sort of see that addition very quick. Um, but that area still needs a lot more work. But uh, that's just so you guys. Uh, know that it's gonna be there um but yeah kev we were talking about a lot of time uh, of having something to block this sort of alley here um as we like to call the piss alley right yeah um so while i was building this i was also kind of in doubt if i should cover up the entire thing so the manor in the background kind of get you know get more well fades away in the background so i don't know if uh, if that was um, nice or not but i, I kind of like just went with it and then i remember sending you a screenshot of it and, and asking you hey i'm not really sure like if i like it here uh, and uh, like kind of wanted your approval a bit because i didn't want it to build further on if you didn't like if you had another vision in mind you know what i mean mm. um but i feel like with what i'm building today and still sort of keeping that vibe of the manor in the background uh, I, I think i came out of it pretty good um, so um, it actually it adds a bunch uh, a, a depth as well to uh, to this yeah, alley here. It does, um, and it just feels nice. And I kind of like that on the left side, like towards these buildings. It's kind of like a little bit trashy, you know. It's like the buildings there are not so clean. Where maybe they started to build some more prettier buildings here near the manor, um, you know, to make it feel more rich and wealthy. So yeah, that's uh, sort of what I'm like. The style I'm doing today is, is is sort of what I sometimes always do, but I'm trying like different color scheme today. Like this very, like yeah, I guess it's like more of a dark white. Uh, like uh, yeah, I don't know. It's more of a plaster color, I guess. Um, but I like it though. I really like how um, how everything here turns out. There will only be the this building and another building. I will be um, adding as well. Um, so, so yeah. So what you been up to, Kev? Just working. What 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 stiff? I haven't really done anything in the park lately. Uh, Blender related either, for that matter. Just been working. But you have been doing stuff in Blender though. You've been working on a lot of stuff. Well, yeah, not for this park though. For other things. Well, yeah, yeah, but still though. Um, and you also started a a, pay, uh, a whole Patreon sort of system with your Themaker toolkit, right? I so, did. Um, yeah, and that's pretty exciting. Yeah, it's um, fun. We'll see what happens. I will post uh, the link and all that stuff to what we're talking about here now, guys. So if you are interested, you can go and take a peek for yourself and see what it's all about. It's uh, all about these all awesome Themaker <laughs> toolkit pieces and whatnot that Mango makes for for us and um, so go check out that or join the discord where both of us are in uh, it's a fun place and uh, you can just get in and hang with us and the rest of the family in there so um, but yeah so 
after I added this building here, I was, or like this height of the building, I didn't really know yet. Um, like you can see, I'm kind of like trying to find a good height and good sort of angle here to not make it, to completely not block the way from, to the manor. Because it's very important for me that we kind of keep that uh, sort of vibe going, right? Because that was the whole purpose about having this tunnel. You go under it, you'll have the whole um, manor in the background and all that stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, so I feel like that um, that is a good addition here. And I feel like as soon as we get more of these buildings on the left side and added it, like maybe walking towards up to the manor, um, I think uh, we have something good here for sure. Yeah, and again, well, more of those buildings. Yeah, I uh, I really like the style of it too. And uh, again, it's very unique. It's not a thing we've seen in the park before either. Um, which also makes it also it's it's so cool honestly to just look around this park and just see all these kind of different buildings and stuff. It's really looking like a a, a town now. It's really getting that vibe. Um, and I really dig it. I do. I do. I do. I do. Yeah, um, for sure. And then we've been thinking about a name for the dive coaster, right? Which we will eventually announce. Um, and all that stuff. Um, yeah. yeah. Whenever so, we get to that point. Yeah. What are you going to do in here next time? What is your main goal? With, I'm going to uh, finish the, the dive coaster. coaster. Yeah. Like the, uh, like the entire uh, theming around it too? Everything. And... Yep, that's my goal. Nice. Nice. And then uh, uh, we also have the dog ride, of course. And then um, I also need to start on the queue for your dog ride, the one that goes into the theater, uh, and make something out of that too. Yeah. Um, we need a pre-show. Yes, we do. We need that too. Um, I think we're gonna recruit then, Starport to do some work with the sequencers. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Whatever you think you need to do to uh, to this, and we will eventually. I know we've been saying it for quite a while, but there will soon be a lore and story out uh, to get this whole Blackmire universe uh, started with Grimsgate 2 and, and all that stuff. But we're working on a few things, um, and also, as I said, um, I'm also in talk with a few um, people that might be able to help with this whole comic stuff that I would like to to try out with the whole lore and story stuff. Um, which of course Kevin also is going to be part of, especially with Grimsgate and maybe even the third project in the series. Who we know? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but that's for that's for the future. So, not now. Um, I do go out in and use a lot of these Victorian doors as I do, and then uh, try to use a different. You can see I'm trying to use a different set of pieces here on these buildings, right? Like I'm trying to make them a little bit different from. What I usually use, or I've used in here. I don't know who made this roof piece here, but it's cool. Um, yeah. So I'm using that. Yeah, pretty cool, right? I was thinking behind the building here, Kev, like I made a, a path that goes across to the right. So I feel like on the other side here, we can maybe put a shop in. Um, so on the level to the terrain where they are, the building on the other side. We can all, I'm also gonna decorate there, right? So it's not just plain. Maybe do, uh, put a shop in there or something so people can get up there and walk uh, next to the to the manor and see it and, and all that stuff. But that's obviously for next episode or so. Um, but yeah, I did feel like it was a long time ago since we were in here. Yeah, so, it's been a while. Thought it was, uh, it's about time to try to check it out. And I felt like building in here again, which is, uh, the most important thing, right? Like when you get that, when you get that, uh, like, ooh, I feel like building something in here. I have this idea. I want to try, and then, um, then that's when you have to go in and build. <laughs> so, so it's been. Uh, it, sometimes you need the break uh, to get going in, and that's what it is in this case here. Um, so here, Kevin, I'm trying to close off kind of like the queue in here, so we can kind of like start up planning out what we will do with the rest of the queue. Mm -hmm. uh, or especially on the terrain side here, uh, where I put in um, uh, sp the spooky wall set, put a little uh, f flower bed up there with some bushes and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's still something that's gonna be worked on, but it, it's it's progress at least. And as you can see here, I'm really liking these windows that you actually made for the atrium, I think, right? Yeah. Or the uh, manor. One of them. So, yeah. So I use this here and kind of like. Um, 
try to do something with it. Yeah. So that was uh, that was something. You had some ideas, some ideas you want to share of uh, what you want to add in here. Uh, what about the coaster? Talking about yeah, I mean, you can talk about just some ideas we've been talking about. Uh, well, I've been wanting to bring an inverted coaster to the park for a while, but I still want to wait until we fix everything out here and see how the layout's going to look. I don't know where I want it yet. Yeah. I do like the idea of it, and we might also, with that said, might even uh, expand it at the right side where we have that lake area. Yeah, that's, if that's the I case. I think I want to put it. Yes. But everything is, has to be kind of like lore and story related, so uh, it will obviously be something that we will we will work and talk about more. And, and as Kevin say, it's not the first priority right now, but when we get further into the project, then... Um, I mean, our goal is to have it finished next year, right? Like Grimskate. Yeah. Like, like, that's literally my... I mean, I'm not even... Like, cause, when we're done with this, the dark ride, right? And then you want to add that extra coaster. But if that extra coaster is just going to be around that area, you know, and there's still a few buildings we can do. There's a clock tower, uh, maybe a, a town hall, um, stuff like that, right? Yeah. Um, so there's still options for us to, to add in here. Um, but behind the manor and all that stuff, that's not going to be any more extended. We might add some trees or terrain, some mountains or something like that, right? But um, what you have seen us build from the start, is pretty much how and how big the, the park is gonna be because uh, we still have some areas uh, free to use um, in this sort of little section here that Kevin did in the early start of the of the park um, and I just kind of like the layout in, in general like how the layout is gonna be you also talked about a tunnel right yeah I kind of want I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I kind of wanted a tunnel to go under this alley but I don't know the layout. I don't think it's going to work, to be honest. I think I'm going to have to rethink. Maybe we could do a tunnel somewhere else. I mean, I do like the idea, and I think we can uh, I think we can work with something. Um, yeah. Maybe if we uh, end up doing an extra town part um, at the right, we might be able to connect those in a way. Um, but there's cool. always there's some brainstorming to do there, for sure. But I'm definitely just happy that um, I sort of got the groove in back in here, and we sort of, sort of got a spark going again with this project. I am, I'm, I'm super happy for it and hyped for it again. I might, hopefully, both me and Kevin might be able to do one more video. I feel like uh, next month, maybe two, if we're really good. Um, but um, yeah, besides that, and I also think whenever we get further in, a lot of these buildings I'm doing, guys, I will make them blueprint. Uh, like blueprints for you guys to check or to get on the in your own parks and stuff when we get that far yeah. but, uh, there's some time there's some time still for that and i think when we get to the uh presentation stage i think i want to do some planet coaster or planet zoo like foliage introductions because there's some good scenery in there oh yeah you should trees. totally do that <clears throat> Like have a train going totally through an yeah. amazing valley leading to this place, and we'll just transition it into Planko and post. That'd be cool. That would actually be super dope, dude. Yeah. We can uh, <coughs> maybe try that. And what's what's cool here too is that we all. I mean, here we have the like the effects, so we can actually add rain and snow and, and stuff like that. Who knows? Maybe we'll make a little uh, Christmas uh, greeting from uh, Grimsgate. Who knows? Right? Maybe we'll. Uh, Go in and add a few uh, scenic uh, shots of snow and like a, yeah, I don't know. That sounds kind of fun. I might do that. Who knows? Maybe we'll both uh, do that one day, sit together, and I don't know. Um, but but yeah, I'm. Uh, I had I was forced here to use I draw beams. Not that I don't mind it, but sometimes I'm just trying to try as much as I can without the um, the theme maker toolkit. At least when it just comes to base building, not the, sort of the theming or the the clutter the trim um but yeah i am um, i really like so i'm trying to do a, a little s um, circle window here that's gonna be in the top of the window uh, i felt like that was kind of cool i also like the emblem or kind of badge i did on the building there it's, it's cool as well i do end up putting a shop in here 
can't remember which shop it is, but just the shop. And as soon as I did that, everyone just freaking ran over here, dude. Yeah, it was I crazy. That. I thought we had lots of shops in here, but apparently not. Um, yes, yeah, they went crazy, man. It was like Black Friday all over, dude. Crazy stuff. I kind of want to have the yeah. shops open areas. What, um, so that people what do you can think of the addition? Into... Do you, What's do you that? approve it? Yeah, no, I do. What I do like you feel that? Yeah, I'm um, I'm happy for it too. It uh, it gives a new look, a fresh new look to to Grim's game, I would say. Definitely. And then uh, here you can see I'm, I put up a little thing, and I put some uh, three planks underneath this sign here that we might be able to figure out something that you can do a custom sign for, um, uh, further in the in the project or something. I thought about this could be a pub or something like that, but I don't know. It kind of has the vibe, but it's also very small for a pub again, so. There's still some, some thinking to, to say about what uh, what to do with these buildings, what they should be and stuff. The building on the left is definitely a resident building, right? Because uh, it's, it's too it's too pretty to be anything else, I would say. So, yeah. So th but this guy here has more of this, like, town um, pop, town pop vibe, I would say. Uh, so we could maybe... We'll see, we'll figure that out. We'll see what we'll need in the end of, because we kind of want all these sort of different shops in here, um, which will make it look way more unique with a lot of signs and all that kind of cool stuff. I did try to look around it at night, um, but unfortunately I didn't add too many lightings now and we didn't really do so many things. So that'll be for maybe next time where we do a little, little night uh, shots if we have. Yeah. Maybe we should uh, focus on that, Kevin. Just put up a little more lighting here and there with next time both you and I go in. Yeah. Um, I try to do just lighting to see what vibe. Yeah, I'm, I'm just so bad at it. I usually just put it on the buildings. <laughs> then I kind of like just forget about it. Uh, but yeah, it was mo mainly when I was taking uh, cinematic shots that, um, that I kind of fig figured out. I was like, oh shit, we don't have enough lighting. Yeah, we need but, lighting. Yeah, but as you guys can see here, we're slowly, slowly moving towards the end here. I added this building in here, did a little facade inside so we don't see the brick wall through the glass. And um, just adding it to look a little bit more pretty and um, yeah, you know, finished here. And also trying to do something about Kevin's queue here. Uh, close it in nicely, make a little, yeah, you know, just polishing it, making it look nice. And then I didn't really like that it was open, so I uh, kind of like added the door here. And here I'm kind of like open, closed, open, closed. Nah. <laughs> Let's keep it closed because they can just walk through, right? And so something I really enjoy about this project is that I can add all these like branches and hanging roses and trees and foliage where Blackmire is more like deserty. So it's very... I don't get to, to add so many of those things in that part where here I can, I can do that. And I love this color on these hanging roses here. It's uh, it just added something to the building, right? And I like that. Yeah, me too. I like this area. It looks so we nice should now. We need to like a foliage, put some more uh, like flowers and shit up there. Oh yeah, for sure. As you could see, I just mainly just did it for cinematics and just to make it look somewhat finished <laughs> before I uh, I stopped. Because if I was gonna keep building, I could have kept going forever and then I would have had to have a long ass video and we don't want that yeah. so um, I'm gonna try to keep them as this sort of level here or minute wise um, so next time I don't know I hope well next time hopefully I think Kevin has maybe not that he's finished with the coaster but he's probably has added some more things um, and if you guys want to see what we have done you should go check out the previous video we uploaded uh, where we talk about uh, all the things and we show you guys around uh, before we add this building and the beer garden as well um, so there's something for you there to to watch if you can want to get a recap of, of things um, or you can just start watching the entire series and there should be a playlist as well attached um, but yeah I think uh, we we are there I'm just adding the last piece of clutter and stuff Kev and then uh, there will be some uh, cinematics um, yeah. so yeah 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 Nap time um, almost. Almost nap time for you. Yeah, I'm tired. Uh, you gotta go nap, boy. I got up at four o'clock this morning. Oh damn! Yeah, that's 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 an early bird. Um. But yeah, that's uh, 
that's it. And hopefully, as I said, next time we'll have some more stuff. Maybe some more buildings. Maybe I did some stuff in the manor. Um, and maybe we can uh, show you guys a little bit more around. And then, obviously, uh, when the Lauren story is out, I am going to give you guys some of that too and we're also gonna make like a whole world map where we draw it and stuff where you can see where Grimscape, Black Marius and the third in the franchise which I haven't really talked so much about yet um, hopefully we can do all this before Planko 2 arrives <laughs> if yeah. it ever comes it should um, but yeah we're at the end now homies leave a like if you think it deserves it join the discord if you want check all the links down below um, and yeah, if you want to talk with me and Kev, uh, you should uh, come say hi to us in Discord. Uh, we're always in there. So, uh, so brother, that was uh, Grimscape for today. I hope you like what uh, I did in here. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting here next time. So, uh, peace out, friends. Take care. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.